Merry Meet everyone. Tonight I'm going to be doing um, a craft of an offering plate for Maybon. Um, this craft actually will complete my 30 days of magic. So if you follow me on Facebook um, and have been there with me kind of from beginning, this is now the end. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for those of you that did um, trek along with me from the beginning to the end of this uh, process with me. It, it really was such an amazing experience and it really taught me a lot about trusting my intuition and, and finding my self-confidence and learning to trust my own voice in, in my craft, if that makes sense. So it, it's been an amazing experience to have. I highly endorse it to anyone that wants to try it. And um, I thank you all for kind of watching and sticking it out with me. I do want to spend uh, special warm fuzzies out to Eric Silvermoon for um, coming up with that idea. I, I believe he was the one that came up with that, that concept. Um, but also just for being such an inspiration with it. Also, um, the lovely little witch, both of them had undertaken it before I decided to try it out and, and make a run of it. And, um, Eric especially has just been so amazing and supportive and Crystal Starshine too. I, I absolutely adore Witches of the Four Quarters. So the fact that they both liked my videos and, and encouraged me the way they did. I, for a newbie witch, there is nothing more important than having connection, but then especially to have connection with people that you're kind of in awe of is, it, there's no words. So to everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you a million times over again. I so appreciate it. All right. So tonight's craft is going to complete that, um, Voyage and also is my last craft uh, for Mabon. So I went to the dollar store today and picked up this plate. And I, it's not what I was expecting. I was going to get like a black plate or something kind of a little bit more solemn looking. But when I saw this, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was very, very warm, very cozy, very... Um, very much what I think of when I think of Thanksgiving. And Maybon this year is definitely about giving thanks and showing that gratitude. So I, I wanted to make an offering plate. Um, and I thought these colors were very representative. They, they all are harvest colors. Um, they, they, I like the, the red around this, uh, around the outside. And then the warm color but then green on the inside it, it kind of is representative of, of the god and the goddess kind of right now we're going through the we're going into the darker uh, season and for some reason the darker color on the outside really spoke to me for that symbolism not entirely sure why but that's what I thought of so so I went with this plate um, so yeah, it, it's very warm, very cozy, very inviting, which are all energies that I want to encompass in this offering. Um, I'm going to be using my Oso oh Magical Sharpie. <laughs> the one I'm using is purple. Um, I'm using purple because I, I do still want kind of a, an inviting color. I, I do still want um, a harvest color and the, the deep purple I still equate very much with harvest time. Um, I'm not sure why the eggplant, the grapes, I'm not, I, I don't necessarily know what triggers that, but that's what's represented in my mind, so that's what I'm going with. Um, again, speaking to that whole trusting your intuition when something speaks to you, it's good to question things, but at the same breath, when something speaks to you, sometimes you just got to go with it. So that's what we're going with. Um, I came up with a little uh, ditty. <laughs> um, On this day when light and darkness are equal, I give thanks and honor to those who came before. 
I give these offerings in perfect love and perfect trust. Just simple, basic. I had a whole little poem that I wanted to kind of put on here, but the more I thought of it, the more I, I just want to put a pinnacle and then um, kind of put the words around the rip, rim. Um, tonight's craft is not very intricate. It's not very witchy per se, um, at least not in its creation, but the meaning behind it, I think, speaks volumes. And the simplicity of this craft, I really like. Um, a lot of times I make things 10 times more difficult than they have to be. So the fact that I'm kind of ending this journey of 30 days of magic with something that is so basic yet it speaks so much to me. I, I really take pride in that, I guess, in finding the magic in the simple. Um, I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else or not, but that, that's kind of where I'm going with this. So, in beginning, I'm going to draw, and, and this is where my issue comes in. I know to do an invoking... Uh, pentacle you should start here and then it should be all one fluid motion I, I do that and my stars do not look very nice so I'm going to try it because I do want that I, I want that symbolism but it may not be pretty but I can try to dress it up later if it doesn't really work so there's one Yeah, this is going to be interesting, too. Three. Four. And five. Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. So that is what we are looking at. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, <laughs> it kind of looks like a grade schooler-ish. Um... I'm not going to do the circle around because the green creates the circle around. Um, and I like that. I like how it looks just with the green around it as opposed to trying to do that. I am going to kind of try to make this look a bit dressier by making it a bit more whimsical with some staggered lines. Uh, if you ever are drawing, I am not artistic in any way when it comes to drawing, at least not a, a talented kind of artistic, not a good kind of artistic. Um, if you want to dress something up or make something look prettier for aesthetics, I don't see anything wrong with that. My um, initial pentagram or, or star, I should say, was done incorrect formation it was done without picking it up from the the plate so that invoking power is still there so even though I'm going over it again just to kind of make it look or attempt to make it look a little prettier there's nothing wrong with that I don't think all right I am also, I just kind of decided as I did that, and see, you can kind of see it's it's got a bit more of a, a solid look to it now. I am in the center of this going to write Maybon in the witch's alphabet. I love the witch's alphabet. I love the idea of kind of having to decode things. And I might not have the room I thought I had. Um, but we're going to make this work. Almost done anyway. So let's see. Alright. So there's Mabon in Witch's Alphabet. Uh, the M obviously got a bit carried away, so everything else kind of got smushed. 
but I'm okay with it. I... Yeah, I'm going to. So I'm going to put in these kind of offsetting quadrants uh, the symbols. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm trying to remember now where they go. I think this is air, fire, spirit, earth, and water, I believe. So we have... Oh my goodness gracious, I'm trying to remember. Air. Oh, Anna Carol. Oh, good. So I'm just putting the elemental um, symbols now in the spaces of the pentagram, our pentacle. And there's fire. Uh, for spirit, it's kind of a Star of David looking thing, but I'm actually going to use the symbol for Mabon, since Mabon is the Sabbath this is for, and usually that's what I equate spirit with. And then we have Earth. And then we have water. Oh boy, triangles look a little wonky. <laughs> so now that is what we have. Not altogether that beautiful, not, not particularly pretty, but it is what I was drawn to. Um, as I'm creating this, the ideas are very much just kind of coming to my head. I, I wanted to do this very much a spirit-based craft. Um, I knew the basics of what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted a plate. I know some. I knew somewhere I wanted a pentagram. I knew I wanted to do a little writing, ex giving the offering um, with this. But I wasn't entirely sure how I wanted it to come about. So I, as I'm creating this in front of you, this is how it's kind of coming to me. Nope, it's on there. Uh, maybe. Oh, good. Nice thing about Sharpie is <laughs> once it's on there, it is on there usually. But until it kind of officially dries, if you realize you don't quite like how something came out you can usually correct it, which is nice. So I'm gonna just kind of fix that. So I just wanted to fix my Maybon symbol. It's still not perfect, but I'm good with it. I like that. All right. So now I'm going to write my little verse up here. Let's see. So on this day... When... Light and darkness are equal. I give thanks. Ah. And honor to those 
who came before. I give these offerings. Ah, I am struggling to write. Sorry about that, guys. Offerings. In perfect love and perfect eek, I'm running out of room, trust. Okay. So that is how it turned out. I was a little worried. I thought that I might not have enough words to make it around the circle. And then as I was going, I was running out of room. So it actually worked out perfectly. Um, so, yeah. So that, I think, is where I'm going to leave it. I actually, I'm lying. I'm going to do my goddess symbol. Let me see here. How do I want to do this? That symbol is going to go here. And God symbol over here. All right, and I feel like I should put something on those corresponding areas. Oh, do, 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 do. That's what I'll do. I will do the Ogum for Ivy, since that is what I'm associating with Maybon. And then Yara, the rune for the harvest or the wheel. And then I'm going to do just Okay. Little spirals cuz I love spirals. So that is my plate. Let's see if I can get a better. Ah! That is my offering plate. So that is what I'm going to use tomorrow on my altar to include uh, family members that have passed away in our witchy Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to be getting a rotisserie chicken <laughs> from the supermarket because I don't get home till like 8 o'clock at night. Um, making some mashed potatoes and gravy, uh, stuffing, and some cream corn. And I will leave some out for the ancestors. So yeah, that is my final craft in my 30 Days of Magic. It is my last craft, I believe, for Maybon. I think I'm going, I might do a couple other little touches, but that's my last major one. Um... I did a few crafts that I didn't make videos on, so I apologize, but, um, yeah. So that is what I've got. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I, again, thank everyone for watching. If you like this video, please do actually click the like button and subscribe. Uh, otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful night. Many blessings as always. And... I will probably make a video tomorrow. Um, it'll probably be a talkie video um, on Maybon. So have a wonderful autumn equinox, everyone. Usher in autumn, the most, in my opinion, the most beautiful season. Absolutely adore it. Thus, a major part where I got my witchy name. Um, <laughs> yeah, just have a great night, guys. Blessed be.